All right, this is the 8th uh, grade math practice test for TCAP. This is question number 60. Matthew measured a right triangle. If he measures one, and I don't see one, I always feel like it's important that I sort of draw one. Makes my life better. And if it's a right triangle, I have to have a right angle. Otherwise, it's not a right triangle. It's a wrong triangle? I don't know. Um, with a hypotenuse of 10 centimeters. The hypotenuse would be that long side. It's got the long name, so it should be the long side. 10 centimeters and one leg of 6 centimeters. So I'm just going to pick one and say it's 6. Why not? The leg would be the, uh, the parts that are made up by the uh, right angle. What they want to know is what is the length of the other leg of the triangle Matthew measured. Now they were nice enough to put that uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared thing, the Pythagorean theorem, in a box for me. Anytime they do that, I'm going to give them the courtesy of writing it down on paper. Heaven forbid I do well. Now from here, my next step is always, of course, to touch that right angle. I'm going to put my finger right there. The two sides that make up that right angle are A and B. So in this case, my X and my 6 are my A and B. That other side would be 10 squared. So I'm doing X squared here. Uh, 6 squared is 36. 10 squared is 100. I'm just solving an equation at this point. I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides because I need to get x all by itself. Bring down x squared. 100 uh, minus 36, last time I checked, was like 64. So I've got 64. From here, the thing that I need to do is finish the problem by getting rid of x squared. The opposite of x squared, of course, is the square root. Because right now, I know that this block made out of x's has 64 individual squares, one by ones. But I only want to know how long this one bottom part is, or the root of that square. So I'm going to take the square root of 64, and my final answer is that, oh sorry, this is what the square root looks like. The square root of 64 is just 8. So my answer for number 60 is just G. Make sure that when you do a Pythagorean theorem question, they always end in that square root thing, unless there's some weird type of Pythagorean theorem question that you won't generally get. So make sure you always take that square root. It's really easy to fall for the old, oh, well, I forgot thing, and you put like 64 or something, or find one that's closest. So just be careful. Don't frustrate yourself. It'll be fine.